Well, I made it back to the duckies. And look at them, they get snow up to their bellies. And it's really deep, it almost looks like they're swimming through the snow. <laughs> now, I usually put the lettuce over here and I'm kind of wondering if that's why they're over here, but I tried to shoo them up over by the lettuce bowl because I noticed they're hanging out right over there. I thought maybe I should park the food over there because I thought, well, there's a small, small chance the pond could melt and if that happens, my bowl will sink. Who knows? So I decided to take it out of the pond. So the pond is nice and frozen and the birds have been patting down the snow, but they haven't been coming up here much. So it's really deep and thick. Look at Easter all the way up to his fat little goose belly. Now, selfie time. Hugs and kisses with soft, 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 soft. It's my big soft. Yeah, he's such a love dove of a guy. Yeah, yeah. Soft, soft was real happy to see me today. And I wish I could have had a video of it. He was honking away and wagging his happy tail, and he's coming to me again. But it's probably only because he's got spring fever. I notice. He gets really distant in the uh, fall time, but early in winter, I think he starts to get hormonal. And I notice some of my friends on the internet that have geese are talking about their birds acting like that. That's how you know it's a guy. They come up and they, they nibble at your feet and they act all lovey-dovey. And I hate to say it, but they just want to get laid. Now, I'm trying to see if those brown birds We'll go over here and try that lettuce. Yeah. So it's in a different place. See, the birds kind of get routine oriented. Now they think I gotta put their uh, bowl in the same place every time. See what they do. <laughs> Anyways, it's been single digit weather, meaning anything below and above zero, just hovering right around zero degrees Fahrenheit, that is. And. Just today we finally got into the double digit, so we got double digit weather forecasted anything as low as the teens and up is Much easier on me than the single digits even the geese don't like it when it gets into single digits What they do is they sit right down and they curl their feet into their wings or their um, little feet pockets Anyways That's the good news That something that has changed is it got 20 degrees warmer. It's in the 20s today. And the snow got a lot deeper here. Yeah. The little watering hole is still available. And of course the geese have the option of going in the birdhouse. I don't know what they do at night because I never come by here. But I know these geese are doing really good no matter how cold it gets. So people ask me how they do in the cold. Well, I've never heard of one dying yet. No. Yeah, they tolerate it. They're built for the cold. I think they're the most tough and durable, tough and durable birds I've ever seen. Look at that guy. No problem there, huh? I think they just look so cool when they're in the snow up to their bellies. <laughs> like he's going for a swim in frozen water. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're having a hard time catching on. Normally they run right to the lettuce, but I screwed up everything, so I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to tape them pigging out. That's always the highlight of my visit, is seeing the birds, enjoying the food that I bring them. So, hey, hey, hey. it's my big soft with the big happy tail, huh? Oh, soft, soft. He's my sweet little darling. But... As you know, geese poop every five minutes, and I just happen to run into them at that interval in time. Yep, every five minutes there's a turd. Nah, just kidding. That's an over-exaggeration, but when they get nerved up, you bet it's every five minutes, <laughs> if not every three. You betcha. Now, I gotta wonder about Pet Goose George. I swear that bird never poops, at least not on camera. Not like Easter. He has no qualms about it, but yeah, he's such a good boy. Now, that's a brown version of George the Goose. Yeah, there's his brown counterpart over there. Unlike George, I can't get near him. He is super shy. Now, the funny thing is, he's the king of the pond. But he's got to be one of the shyest birds when it comes time to pet someone, right? 
Nah, not only that, but it's kind of built into them. I think they have the intuition or the instinct to keep people from mussing up their feathers because if it was a flying animal, they need every one of their feathers to be in proper shape. Just one goof up could mess up their aerodynamics, say they were actually going to fly anywhere. But hey, that's part, that's part of my theory on why birds don't like to be petted, is it's built into them to keep people from ruffling their feathers. Number two, normally they're just trying to avoid getting at. And people do eat geese, and I think these birds know that. Easter don't know that, he thinks he's a people. So he, he doesn't really worry about that, but these goose know that these are, um, these are food for people. Oh my goodness, and I treat them like pets. Huh. Well, I'm gonna take a break here and play with Easter. Maybe I'll take some pretty pictures of Easter in the snow. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching us and I'll talk to you soon.